So good morning and welcome. What a great day to be at Pikestown State Park. Uh, just a few words of thanks before we get started. I'd like to thank our great State Parks crew for putting this event together. I'd like to thank our great friends at Tourism for being the driving force with this and so many things that have helped move us forward in State Parks. And Governor, welcome and thank you for being here today. Thank you. So there's a book that was written in the early 90s and it's called Where People and Nature Meet. And it's a history book of West Virginia State Parks and it showcases the great eras of progress, times when the state park system moved forward in positive ways. And it talks about the 1930s with the CCC. It talks about the 1950s when parks were built and lodges were built at Blackwater, Kekapin. The 1970s when parks like Pipestem, Twin Falls, and Canaan Valley were added to the system. And that history book stopped in the 1990s, but what it is yet to talk about is the great progress of the time that we are living in today. It's a really, really great time to work for and be a part of West Virginia State Parks. So what you see here today is just one more example of the progress that we have made under Governor Justice's administration. Uh, this tram is, is an amazing pro project. Those of you who have been around Pipe Stem all your lives know that the old tram was, was, it was, it was ready. It was time for us to move on and, and bring a new tram here and at Pipe Stem, or in at Hawk's Nest. And, and quite frankly, there are projects like that all over the park system that were undone that are now done. This tram that you see before you today is a, is a product of West Virginia Engineering. Alpha Associates out of West Virginia designed it, went in construction, did the site preparation, and even Doppelmeyer, which is an international corporation, has an office in West Virginia, and they're the, constructor, the constructors on the tram itself. This new tram will be better than the last one by far. We'll be able to take more people to our Mountain Creek Lodge at a time. It will be fully accessible. It will have the capacity to take kayaks, luggage, and all sorts of things to that canyon that we have never seen before. The tram is, is a truly iconic part of Pipe Stem, and Governor, I can't thank you enough for your support of this project. Um, but I want to I want to talk about myself, if I could, just a little bit. Um, <laughs> So, so, Governor, I've been working for West Virginia State Park since 1986. And in 17 days, I'm going to retire. I have devoted my entire life to West Virginia <coughs> State Parks. And, and, and so I can tell you that for the first 27 years of my career, we were operating these parks with no money. We were tiring, tying our equipment together with bailing twine. We didn't have the appropriate money to pay and retain our staff. Our facilities were falling apart, and the following eight years, under your administration and under your leadership and with your coaching, we have moved this state park system forward in ways that I can't even be, begin to be able to tell this group. And, and I am so proud to have been a part of it, and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a driving force to taking our park system from what we thought was the best park system in the United States to now what we know is the best park system in the United States. It's very hard to talk about the successes of state parks without talking about Tourism Secretary Chelsea Ruby. So I like to tell my friends and the people that I know and that I know Chelsea, that Chelsea drugged West Virginia State Parks kicking and screaming into the 20th century. And guess what? She, she drugged me personally kicking and screaming into the 20th century. But Chelsea, you are a force of nature. Everything that you have done, every single thing, and, and, and I won't go over the list because it's just too long, has been positive and has made our park system a better place. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank you as well. Whoever takes Brad's job is going to
going to have some big shoes to follow. He not only has um, <laughs> changed the face of this place, but he has done it with his heart. He puts his heart into every single thing he does. And those of you that know him know that that's true. So thank you, Brad. So about a year and a half ago, I was asked to deliver some bad news to the governor. We were making tons of progress around the state. We had come here. We had just celebrated the lodge renovations. We had added all the pipe stem adventure stuff. We had done a new lodge at Cape and we had done improvements every year, everywhere across the park system. But we realized that these two trams, this tram and the one at Hawk's Nest, were in disrepair, complete disrepair. They were ready to be shut down. They were getting to the point where they were unsafe. And to be honest, we didn't have any money. We didn't have the money to replace them. They hadn't been on our list of projects. And so somehow I ended up as the person that was sent in to tell the governor, we're gonna close both of these trams. So I went in, Governor, I don't know if you remember this. I went into his office and I said, Governor, these two trams, we have to shut them down. We have to shut them down immediately. And we don't have enough money to replace them. If you want, we may be able to find enough money to do one of them. And I'm hoping you can help me pick which one, Hawk's Nest or Pipeston. I did not get a very nice reaction from the governor. <laughs> he acted like that was the craziest question I could have ever asked him. And he asked me if we've ever done anything halfway there, and I said no. And he said, well, then you're replacing both trams, aren't you? I said, yes, sir. And so we came out, and I told everybody that we were replacing both trams. And here we are a year and a half later with the first one. We've got the second one on the way. That story I could tell over and over and over with things across the system, state parks and tourism. Every single time I've gone to the governor to tell him we need more money to invest in the tourism infrastructure in the state or this parks, he's not only told me yes, he said do more. Make it bigger, make it better. So this system, this tram, is not just going to be a replacement of the old one. It's going to be the same type of product that's going to give people amazing family memories for 50 or more years, but it's upgraded. It is going to be able to haul more people. There's going to be equipment cars, so you can take your fishing gear, your kayaks, your bicycles, everything down. It is an incredible, top-of-the-line, West Virginia-engineered product that we should all be really, really proud of. So it'll open up in the fall, um, and I can't wait to be back here to do it, beginning of fall foliage. But I want to, to really think and make sure everybody here knows that this tram wasn't happening. It absolutely wouldn't have happened if the governor hadn't looked at me and asked me if I was crazy a year and a half ago and told me that we were absolutely going to do it. And it's been like this time after time. We have seen visitation at these parks go through the roof. We've seen investment. We've seen revenue in these parks. We've seen tourism visitation. We've seen every single metric go up because of these investments. So this one's really exciting because of the amazing Thing that's going to be restored here, but it's also symbolic of everything that's happened in West Virginia's tourism industry, where we've seen West, West Virginia literally go from dead last to world class. The park system with the most investments and the tourism state with the most growth. So Governor, I can never thank you enough for pushing us every step of the way, getting us to this point where we can here celebrate today 200 million plus invested in our park system and one of the most celebrated tourism destinations in the world. So with that, I'd like to introduce to you the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice. Listen, I, I thank you all. And I, I thank you for being here. I thank you for all you've done, whether it be Brad or Chelsea or, you know, senators and on and on and on. You know, uh, just think about this. There was a guy, his name was Harry Ellis, I believe. Harry Ellis was one, a golf professional and one of the, I guess, one of the people that helped build the golf course up here. And Harry Ellis and I played a lot of golf together. And I was just a kid. And, and so I could go back here for 50 million years ago. And I can tell you what you have here is a jewel beyond belief in West Virginia. But we have this over and over and over all over the place. And for some 
crazy reason that I could see. You know, when I came into office with tourism declining like crazy and all kinds of things, what in the world was wrong with us? What in the world was wrong with us? You know, here we have four of the most incredible seasons on the planet, and just look behind me. Just look. And all we had to do was be proud of ourselves. That's all we had to really do. You know, in many, many, many situations, I go back to that guy in South Carolina that ran our farming operation. It was my son's best friend, even though he was 30 years older than my son and absolutely a keystone to what we were doing. 63 years old, on, on uh, New Year's Eve night, he just dropped over dead with a heart attack. And we miss him so much, it's unbelievable. But I can hear him say so many times, any frog that's not proud of its own pond isn't much of a frog. Really and truly, we had to be proud of who we are. Do you not realize in so many ways, you're the best of the best. You are. I mean, every day you get up, you're faith-based. You're low crime. You're loving, good, good, hardworking people that are craftsmen in every way. Do you not realize you, have beca you became beat down? Almost thinking, well, are we going to be in a competition with Mississippi on who's going to be dead last, dead last, dead last? You expected our roads to not be great, or you expected absolutely the contributions to our park system to be bailing twine. That's what you really expected. And then all of a sudden, some way, somehow, and, and for this one, I'll take a lot of credit. I normally don't want to do that. Normally what I would say is we got there by all pulling the rope together, but somebody had to stand up against the world and tell the world how great you really are, and somebody had to get you to believe how great you really are. You are the envy of the whole world now. You really are. And how did it happen? You just started believing in yourself. So with all that being said, we put money, sure. We put real investment in tourism, real investment in our park system and everything. And what does it do? It returns us multiples and multiples and multiples of those dollars almost instantaneously. I would tell you this, I'm not gonna be your governor very much long, but I would tell you, you know, for Jack, David, and all of y'all, the more money you can put into tourism, the more it will return you in every single way. The more money we can invest in parks, and we've got a new one coming in right now over at Somersville, the more money we can show off West Virginia, the more people will come, the more people will live here, the more people will get what you've already got. Honest and true, the very characteristic that you have that will never change is the very thing that so many don't have. And that is you appreciate others. You have all the other stuff, but you truly appreciate others. And as people come, as people move their businesses here, as people come and bring opportunity, you won't forget it. And they'll see that. So with all in me, I would tell you just this. I congratulate you in every way. This is just great stuff. I mean, for crying out loud, it's just great stuff. Do you mean to tell me, and Chelsea probably didn't have a good day. It's either, it's either, you know, it's either hawk's nest or here. Bull feathers, you know. <laughs> I mean, for God's sakes of living, it reminds me of the waitress in the restaurant. Sir, do you like your eggs scrambled or fried? Yes. <laughs> That's the answer. Yes. I mean, for God's sakes of living, we had to have both these trams. Don't forget it. And please, 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 just keep absolutely believing in yourselves. It is amazing. It is amazing how good you really are. 
It is unbelievable how good this state is. For crying out loud, we've awakened to the world. We're the diamond in the rough that they missed. We're the diamond they missed. And now all of a sudden, and I say it over and over, but in West Virginia slang, who could have ever thunk it? <laughs> Think about it. Who could have thunk it? That absolutely we in West Virginia, the place that everybody looked at and, and, and told the bad jokes about and absolutely went on and on and on about West Virginia and you said it was bad. It was bad instantaneously about West Virginia. You know, just think, or now if I can say who could have ever thunk it. Here we are on worldwide publications of tourism travel guides and saying West Virginia is the place to be. West Virginia is the place you need to go. It is. It truly is. Look. For crying out loud, just look. You know, and on top of that, of all things, you've got a governor that's sitting here with a, with a bull. <laughs> and I would say to all those out there that are telling the bad jokes or still thinking poorly about West Virginia, just remember how baby dogs hind in looks, right, baby dogs? <laughs> because that's what they need to see all the time in my book. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for waiting on me, me driving a cart down here. And it's a testimony to how strong this walkway is. Because it had a load in it, didn't it, baby doll? We have a gift for baby doll. Oh, okay oh, gosh, here we, oh, here, we go. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, she knows what that is. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll promise you this. <laughs> that rascal loves to eat. <laughs> oh, no. And we also, our sweets and treats is open, so we welcome you guys to have some refreshments and enjoy the rest of your day. This looks like a strong endorsement from Baby Dog of the ice cream upstairs. <laughs> 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 Thank y'all again. <laughs>